Hello, so let's see together how to check the new Microsoft Edge browser on the Xbox One. So rather than connecting on the Xbox One directly on your TV screen, what you can do using Windows 10 is to launch the Xbox application from the Windows Store. So uh, what you can do also from this very cool Xbox application is to connect directly to your Xbox One to stream the video output from your Xbox One directly on your PC. So this is what I'm going to do. So I'm a French guy, as you may notice from my French accent, but this is a, the French version of the Xbox One, but you get the point if you've got an English version or whatever the language you're using. So I'm clicking on the streaming part of the Xbox One and I'm connecting on directly on the Xbox One using the remote connection if you like to. So I can use then the Xbox One controller on my Windows 10 PC to control my uh, Xbox One. So I can play games like the Forza game or whatever game you like to play, but now you can have access to Microsoft Edge directly on the Xbox One, which is pretty cool. And what we're going to see is how to display some WebGL content and web audio and very cool things being supported by Microsoft Edge on the Xbox One. So let's launch the Edge browser. So I'm still connected inside the Xbox One. You see I'm currently on the dashboard of the Xbox One. So this is fairly the same experience you may have on your PC using a full screen experience. And what we're going to test is to check if the current brother is supporting all the good stuff about by Babylon GS. So I'm going to launch this beautiful scene being done by Michel. So it's using our open source WebGL framework. It's going to download all the assets from our web server. So the textures, the sounds, and everything linked to the meshes and geometries. So it's going to be streamed to the Xbox One. So let's wait a couple of seconds. And now you see that the final items are being streamed, which is pretty cool and you can hear some sound. So currently this is the very same experience you may have on your PC or your tablet or whatever. So you can see that this, the same code base using WebGL and HTML5 and JavaScript is being executed now on PCs, on Windows 10 PCs, on Windows Mobile 10, on the Xbox One, on your iPad Android devices. So I really love WebStarnet for that. So what you can do is then choose to switch the camera to the gamepad camera because the cool thing is that Microsoft Edge on the, on the Xbox One is supporting WebGL, is supporting JavaScript of course and web audio but also supporting the gamepad APIs. So what I need to do now is to move a little bit inside the scene and you see that now it told me that I'm using the, the, the gamepad. So you can see I'm still running inside the Microsoft Edge browser on the Xbox One. So I can go back here and I can now move inside the scene using my Xbox One controller. So what you currently see is really the experience you will have on the Xbox One once you will update your Xbox One using the latest available updates uh, from November that will push the Windows 10 version of, of the operating system on the Xbox One using cool stuff like Edge and the new dashboard that I really like personally. So really, really cool. 